The Food and Drug Administration has ordered all Juul electronic cigarettes removed from the U.S. market. So this decision is a part of the agency's broader review of the vaping industry. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here now with a breakdown on this decision. Liz. Well, guys, this decision by the FDA means Juul must discontinue sales or risk enforcement action by the agency. Juul e-cigarettes have become popular in the United States, especially among teens. And now the Food and Drug Administration has denied the company's application to sell its products in the U.S., pulling Juul off store shelves. I think this is a very uh, welcoming um, um, decision made by FDA, keeping public health and uh, health risks uh, of the users in mind. The FDA says Juul's application didn't have enough evidence to show that marketing of the products would be appropriate for the protection of the public health. This denial was not based on clinical information, but mostly from the toxicity data that Juul itself has provided because the burden of proof is always on the manufacturer for them to say that their product is safe to be used. Two years ago, the FDA banned mint and fruit flavored vaping products in an effort to cut down on teen vaping, leaving just tobacco and menthol flavored products on the market. Matthew Myers, president of the Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, says Juul helped fuel a generation of kids addicted to nicotine. If we're going to continue to make the progress in reducing youth cigarette smoking and e-cigarette smoking, this decision is a critical next step. In recent years, thousands of lawsuits have been filed against Juul. Last year, the company agreed to pay North Carolina $40 million over six years for what Attorney General Josh Stein said was the company's role in the increase in the number of teens vaping. Those funds will go to help people stop vaping and prevent e-cigarette addiction. I'm happy that uh, Juul is off the market. And Juul could appeal the FDA decision or file a new application for its products. The FDA says retailers should contact Juul with any questions about products in their inventory. Guys. All right, Liz, thank you.